My name is Lois. I'm very excited to have been commissioned by Oakman Inns and Restaurants to create a giant green man sculpture. This giant dragonfly is going to be a part of it. It's created out of an unusual medium, black plastic drinking straws. For this unusual brief, which came to me via my art brief, I evolved a sculpting technique of threading plastic straws onto strong wire. In some cases, I flattened, sliced and cut individual straws using a surgical scalpel to achieve intricate detail. But the overall structure is always built around a durable wire frame. So why plastic straws as an art medium? The sculpture was commissioned by Oakman Inns and Restaurants a UK-based pub company who take sustainability very seriously. Inspired by Earth Day 2017, Oakman Inns resolved to ban all plastic straws from their businesses. Rather than dump their stockpile of 60,000 straws into landfill, they chose a creative solution, transform them into art. The traditional Green Man image features English oak leaves, which are most appropriate for Oakman Inns, whose logo also includes an oak leaf. So I modelled the largest leaf on the logo. To sculpt the actual face of the green man, I created a basic three-dimensional framework out of straws and wire, and then began filling in the details. I suspended the structure across an upstairs open window to be able to see the black straws clearly silhouetted against the sky. I wanted the face to have an expression of calm equanimity, looking directly at the viewer like a traditional green man image, so the construction of the eyes was especially important. It was interesting to observe the evolving face superimposed on the shifting patterns of clouds, sky, trees and neighbouring houses. It reminded me of the universal implications of this pioneering art project. The green man, made of plastic straws, stands for the interconnectedness of all the natural world and of humankind. In this same spirit, I was determined to incorporate a spider's web into the design as a symbol of how all things are interdependent in the web of biodiversity. As human beings, we simply cannot ignore our impact on the environment. In recent decades, the excessive use of plastic bags, packaging, disposable cups and drinking straws is causing vast ecological problems, especially in the world's oceans. Oakman Inns were among the first catering companies to ban plastic straws. Spinning my own web out of straws and wire has only deepened my respect for spiders. I've always been fascinated to watch a spider at work on its web, and so I was particularly proud to capture my own web weaving efforts on camera. I wanted the sculpture to incorporate numerous references to native British flora and fauna. Each element presented fresh challenges in terms of sculpting out of this unusual recycled plastic medium. The final stage was to assemble the whole piece, including the face, now bulked out with a considerable volume of straws, and each of the smaller sculptures around the edges. Green and gold paint accentuate the features. The colour scheme was inspired by my visits to see the famous green man carvings on the ceiling bosses of the Norwich Cathedral cloisters. The green man theme is intimately linked with Oakman Inns, and the sculpture has now been installed in its new home, the beautifully refurbished Aikman pub in Tring, Hertfordshire. We hope that this piece, made of tens of thousands of discarded plastic straws, will stand as a pioneering symbol of sustainability in business practices, and that more and more firms will follow suit in eliminating plastics. This artwork commission is one of a number I've completed via my art brief, an innovative art commissioning platform which connects UK artists directly with clients. Commissions are always welcome at my art brief. Meanwhile, watch this space for more upcycled plastic sculptures coming soon.